Hi, everybody. Uh, my name is Troy Mikanovich, and um, I'm here with a, another installment of the Center for Writing and Rhetoric seven minute uh, video series. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about designing research questions. Um, as a way of outline, uh, first, we're going to talk a little bit about planning your project, figuring out how to fit your research question to the constraints of the assignment that you're given. Uh, then we're going to switch and talk about kind of testing potential research questions. What are some preliminary questions that you can ask on your way towards like a true blue research question? Um, as always, uh, there's a handout linked to this video. Um, you can work along uh, with the video. It's a fillable PDF. And a lot of what we talk about in the video today is just repeated in the handout in some form. So if you're just starting out and writing up a research question, that's a great place to start. Um, so first, one of the most difficult things about designing your research questions is that it's always treated kind of like a black box, right? You start with a topic and then you come out with a question. But there's a longer process of kind of focusing that topic down, talking specifically about um, kind of areas that are open to discussion and debate, and then finally talking about why this is even important to talk about at all. Um, of course, this isn't a process that happens in a vacuum. Uh, there is uh, whole bodies of existing scholarly conversation, existing research that you have to consist, uh, consider as well. Uh, we'll talk a little bit about that, but we'll also talk more about that in a later video about creating a research space. Um, so first, let's just look at like what goes into planning your question, planning your project. Uh, first, here are some things to consider. Are there time constraints to your project, right? A dissertation level research question is very different than a term paper level research question. What's the scope of the assignment? What's expected of you? It's worth it asking your professors if they haven't clarified it. Um, and lastly, what's typical for your field or discipline? Um, does your discipline focus on making kind of broad theoretical contributions, or is it kind of more about narrow case study evaluation, smaller experiments, things like that? Uh, next, think about two contexts for your question, the broader social context of your topic, and then the academic context. So are there existing uh, conversations or scholarly gaps that you want to address? Um, are there people who are doing the, kind of most of the speaking? There often are. And what are the major arguments that have been made for or against some aspect of your topic? Next, start thinking about evidence, right? You're gonna to have to make an argument to answer this research question. So what will count as evidence and data in your analysis? So first think about who's your audience and what kind of evidence will help make your case for them? What kinds of primary sources are available um, and what counts as data? So how can you operationalize some of these potential research questions? Next, you have to think about where are you gonna get that data? Um, so are there existing sources or compilations of that data? So kind of government archives, things like that. Or are you gonna be collecting your own data? So what's your methodology? Maybe an ethnography, um, maybe doing some interview work, experimental work, things like that. After you've planned, or kind of at the same time that you're planning, you're also gonna start testing potential research questions as you narrow down your topic. So here are some considerations and kind of questions that you can ask or ways that you can ask a question to uh, hopefully narrow your search down. First, does your topic have a history? So um, is there a larger developmental context to consider? So I'm using an example of like online dating as a broad general topic. So if there's a developmental context to consider, here's a question about what kinds of alternatives to in-person dating existed before the internet? And does the topic have an internal history to consider? So how do we get from earlier online dating sites to later ones? Um, is there a context for your topic, right? So is it part of a larger system that's worth considering? So how does online dating reflect today's romantic values, right? And that's a very kind of contextual con uh, question. Um, can you imagine your topic as a system itself, right? So thinking of these different online dating sites as parts that interact with users that are oftentimes using multiple or just single versions of them. Next, um, maybe just try breaking your question or, or your topic apart and see if questions come from that, right? So how can you group your topic into types? What are the different on, uh, kinds of online dating services and apps? Are there wide trends among these groups? Are there like specific camps? Um, and can you compare and contrast any uh, aspect of your topic? So how do these sites differ from traditional in-person dating sites like bars and clubs and stuff like that? Or how do they differ from other forms of mediated dating like classified ads or those booths at the mall where you used to you know, film a video of yourself to find love? Um, one useful thing to do is actually to change positive questions into negative questions. And it seems like a rhetorical trick, but I think it's actually pretty useful. So instead of asking why all the time, ask why not? Um, plenty of uh, daters don't use online dating services. Why is that? Uh, why has an online dating uh, taken off among so-and-so population? Um, this is a useful way to really test a lot of the assumptions that are going into your question making. 
Next, um, consider using speculative questions, right? So what if X was or was not the case? So what if Tinder had a verification check mark like Twitter does? Or what if online dating algorithms took uh, this information in consideration rather than that, right? So there's something kind of imaginative that goes into all of this, but that's also going into the work of really evaluating like why haven't these questions been asked before? Does your topic have an extensive research history as it is, right? Very rarely are we gonna be blowing the lid off something brand new. Um, so what have other people said about your topic and about the questions that you're kicking around? So what are the major strands of agreement and disagreement in your field? Uh, Jones, here is an example, argues that online dating presents fewer opportunities for finding lasting romance than in-person dating, and Garcia disagrees. Does the case I'm looking at support Jones or Garcia, or is there a reason I should lean towards one or the other? So really trying to think of how does your work situate among kind of the existing canon of scholarship is really important. And like I said, we'll have other videos that you can check out on that subject specifically. That's it for right now, just in terms of defining and just like first steps on your research question. Next video, we're gonna look a little bit more at refining your question. What are questions you can ask yourself to evaluate kind of the potential answers that you'll be running into. Um, along with that uh, reference, or pardon me, along with a handout uh, that uh, we have access to, here are some general references and resources. A lot of this information was taken from the craft of research, um, uh, but another great uh, resource is uh, John Cresswell's Research Design, Qualitative, Quantitative, and Mixed Methods Approaches. And, and that resource does a lot to do uh, with kind of uh, differentiating different kinds of research questions from each other. Um, but that's all I have for you today. Uh, thank you for watching and feel free to stop by and see us at the center. See ya.